Okay, um, I would like to cover the Newton's method for the case it failed. Um, here's how the Newton's method you will fail. Well, we know the equation looks like this. We know the equation says x to the m plus 1 is equal to xn minus f of xn all over f prime of xn. This is a case it will fail. Okay? Just imagine that you have your wild guess and your wild guess is for example let's come over with this one. That says well we have an equation like this. We have an equation that looks like this and looks like this. Okay? And we say we want to predict the zeros. Okay. We have predicted zeros. But you say, well, you have to pay your attention on your first initial guess. If your initial guess is at here, xn, okay, where this part is going to be derivative, f prime of xn is equal to zero because you see it's a horizontal tangent. It's a horizontal tangent. So that means at this case, this part is going to be zero. And if you take that while first guess is xn, you take that guess, that for example, is 1. Then if you plug in 1 here, if you plug in 1 here, if you plug in 1 here, this part is going to be 0 and this part is going to be defined. So that's where, if where Newton's method fail. Fail. Is the initial guess. is a horizontal tangent. Tangent. When it's a horizontal tangent, that means derivative equal to zero. That means this part is equal to zero. Okay. This is where the Newton's method fail. There's other case where Newton's method fail as well. So those other cases shows like this. If I have something like this, especially this function right here f of x is equal to x to the 1 over 3 and we told you it's not differentiable at 0 <coughs> at x equal to 0 Newton's method will fail to converge Okay, the Newton's method will fail to converge. Newton method will fail converge. Fail converge. And we actually call it diverge. But how does it work? Well, I'm going to show you a graph of this, and you will see it. You will see it. The graph of this is going to be like this. Well, actually, I need to do a better job. And what happened is, well, I'm going to take the initial guess here. Okay. Initial guess is going to be, well, this is my initial guess. Well, initial guess is going to be x1. And we take our initial guess, it's going to be here. The yellow spot is going to be right here. That's in my initial guess. And my tangent is going to draw on the yellow spot, so this is going to be showing as the yellow line here.
And if you realize it's kind of off compared to the first thing. And then you say, okay, let's take the second guess. Well, let's draw a dot on here. And let's take the second guess. Well, the second guess is going to be here. Where the purple line is going to be. The purple line says, well, it's going to be showing right here. And then you say, okay, well, the purple line doesn't work because it shows a little bit farther away from the original point now. So let's draw another line here. Let's see if it converge. Let's draw a white line here. Let's draw maybe the red line here. Well, the red line is going to show up right here. If you see this prediction is getting worse and worse every time you try. And uh, this is going to be right here. And then we're going to say, well, this is going to be right here. So you will get wider and wider and wider and stay away from the original x-intercept, which is right here, which is x equal to 0. Okay. So well, if it's not differentiable, you'll find out whatever you do here, is going to go away from your x-intercept. It's not being converged. Here's an example if I do an uh, initial guess at 0 0.1. So f of 0 0.1, so we say if our initial guess is x2 equal to 0 0.1 minus f over 0 0.1 divided by f prime of 0 0.1 this will actually give me 0 0.2 and then we're going to say x3 is equal to 0 0.2 minus f of 0 0.2 f prime of 0 0.2 that will actually give me an even further away number well the first one is a negative 0 0.2 it's going to be so here it's going to be negative 0 0.4 to negative negative and then they will actually come up to be negative 0. Uh, it could, sorry, not negative. It's going to be positive 0. 0.4. And then I fucking plug in 0. 0.4 positive minus f of 0. 0.4, f prime of 0. 0.4. It's going to equal to negative 0. 0.8. And if you keep on do doing that, okay, f x5 x5 is equal to negative 0 0.8 minus f of negative 0 0.8 over f prime of negative 0 0.8 and eventually you're going to find out it's 1.6 so it's actually going away from your prediction instead of converge so this is where the Newton's method fail this is where the Newton's method fail and it's really interesting when it's fail is a function is not differentiable your Newton's method will not be successfully estimate your x-intercept or your zeros Okay, so that's one thing that you need to know about where the Newton's method fails.